Thank you. If you saw the old labs, as, as Jim pointed out, they're very, very different. We, we added a center aisle. We put six islands in instead of three. All of the plumbing from drain to the chemical filtration system is brand new. Um, the gas jets were eliminated from bio. They're all brand new in chemistry. The hood is new. All of the cabinetry is new. We got a dishwasher. The amount of uh, faculty time wasted in washing beakers is no longer an option for us. The bio room has a new fridge that's smaller and more energy efficient and reasonable for the space. This is going to allow us to keep our lab group sizes small, increase student learning and hands onness if I can make that word up for a moment, um, and get us back to the unwritten curriculum of science labs, which is an intimate knowledge of the equipment, responsibility for the equipment, collaboration with lab partners, our furniture was a little iffy in, in the past and this is going to help us get back to what we're supposed to do in the lab. We love our idea paint walls. We're going to be able to write on this with dry erase and project and write and project and erase whatever we want in this room and the other room. It's, it's a safer space. We've gotten up to code in both rooms. All the electrical got buried. We have a gas shutoff valve for the first time in the history of the school. <laughs> it's only proper, but it's a great thing to celebrate. May we never need it. Our shower now has a drain and a face wash. May we also never need that, but we have it. So it's a lot better, it's a lot safer, it's going to allow us to do things more efficiently, allow the students to engage with the material more actively, and in a way which is more meaningful to them. It's, it's more an accurate reflection of how science is actually done as opposed to the artifice of the high school cookbook lab. We're, we're really excited on seeing what we can do with the space and, and revolutionary, revolutionizing our own teaching in response to the changes that we made. Uh, so again, thank you to everyone who was part of this and for all of you for making this possible. Uh, and with that, I would just like to say if you have any questions specifically about this, ask any of us. We're, we're happy to expound on all of these sorts of things. And, and now I'll turn it back over to Father Crook. Thank you, Thanks. Frank.